name is Ruben Cherian and I'm the general manager for the Novotel Hyderabad Airport. So basically this week we celebrate as a heartest gratitude week all across Aqua Hotels globally. So heartest basically are employees who have been working with us relentless, relentlessly throughout the year, throughout the pandemic, um, you know, putting their lives at risk just to ensure that our guests are comfortable and their safety is taken care of. So, uh, you know, we thought no better way than showing our gratitude and we dedicate this week globally to showcase what we have for them. So during this time, during this week, uh, we had a lot of activities including welcoming each and every employee on a red carpet irrespective of what shift they came from. And uh, we had different themes for breakfast, lunch and high teas uh, for, the, for the three days of celebration. A lot of activities planned like we had the hog and run, we had the jinga competition, we had a team building competition, we also have uh, best out of waste competition, all this. But uh, during this time, we've not forgotten our community. So as part of our contribution towards the community, we've not forgotten our poor farmers who have been again uh, the unsung heroes providing for all of us during the pandemic, risking their lives. So we as a team at the Novotel Hyderabad Airport, we went across to our nearby farms and felicitated groups of farmers, thanking them for their job done and gifting them some goodie bags from the hotel. And uh, with the last day of the celebration, we've organized for a lovely gala dinner, having DJ party because no event is complete without a party. So yes, for our employees, we've uh, organized for a wonderful party to end the event. So in, com in conclusion, basically, our employees are assets. They are our people who, who actually make, make or break any organization. So I'd like to quote a lovely quote by Simon Sinek as a conclusion, which says, uh, a leader is re not responsible for his job, but he's responsible for his people, who in turn are responsible for the job. So, you know, our people are our assets, and I'd like to thank each one of them, and I'd like to thank each one of you for helping us share this with the world. So thank you so much. Thanks all. Uh, my general manager Rubin Chirian already uh, spoken heart out. Uh, as you rightly said, uh, we are uh, organizing our uh, hardest gratitude week. So every year we do have these celebrations exclusively for our employees. Uh, but this year we named uh, celebrations as a, a gratitude week, the hearted gratitude week. We generally call it a uh, employee celebration week. So the specially for the gratitude week is like last two years we had this pandemic and then uh, we hardly did any you know engage, uh, engagement uh, activities or uh, uh, activities, special activities for employees. But now we are slowly coming back to normalcy. So we th we felt that we have to show our gratitude to our employees. So being this activity happening now, uh, it is not only just our employees. We also wanted to thank our uh, state stakeholders and we invited a uh, few of our stakeholders to be a part of this event. So this is, we observed these three days yesterday, today and tomorrow, uh, having all the fun uh, with the employees and the stakeholders. So first day we had a great welcome with our traditional uh, music, uh, Sanai Melam, and uh, post that we actually uh, lavish breakfast for our uh, employees. And post that we all have actually gone to uh, the field nearby and then we, uh, felt, uh, we thanked our farmers because uh, during the pandemic, we all sat at home during a lockdown, and but the farmers are the one who actually struggled and then made ensure that uh, they give everything what we need uh, to survival for survival. So first thing, we went and thanked our uh, farmers, and then they were very happy for, with that. And then posted a lot of fun activities in the hotel. And evening, especially, we had this uh, you know uh, eating competition uh, that, that was actually. Uh, the superbly good and the employees really liked it and then today uh, we had a lot of activities we have a flash mob for our uh, uh, guest as a surprise and post that now we are having a lavish uh, lunch and then wherein we invited most of our uh, stakeholders uh, those who really supported us during the pandemic and uh, evening we have a lot of uh, fun activities again for the employees so tomorrow uh, you know uh, we have a party uh, in the evening and then morning uh, we have again you know fun activities so especially today we're going to have shoot up where we're going to have uh, you know coverage of uh, our car formation our logo formation which is always you know highlight of our uh, celebrations so overall uh, we want to as a uh, human resources head i i want to ensure that you know to me smile on the employee's face uh, without which i we, we you know it is empty so we value our uh, employees we feel for them and then we they are feel valued so we wanted to keep them happy along with our guests so that is our motive uh, so 
that's all for uh, the celebrations and it is not one day celebrations uh, it is going to be to have the sustainability in the program we also launched a special menu for our employees which is you know take away most of them are uh, bachelors here so anytime they wanted to have anything the no, no profit no loss a menu we decorated so that we launched yesterday and that's going to be you know uh, the the beneficial for employees to carry on whenever they wanted to so this is a special uh, event for them and we wanted to bow uh, ourselves uh, for all their contribution and thank wholeheartedly you know uh, at this occasion so this is all about uh, the celebrations and once again thanks all media for covering all uh, the program and then you know uh, putting across to the social media thank you